Sometimes the simple things in life can make a big difference. Case in point, our Project Jeep Wrangler and the upgrades we can make to it. In this episode, we're gonna show you how one simple part like this catch can from Mishimoto can make a huge difference in both engine health and efficiency of our Jeep. But before we get started, you need to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. We've got the hood open already on our Jeep and we're gonna tackle a problem that many Jeep Wrangler engines face and that's blow-by. What is blow-by? This is crankcase pressure that is often relieved through the PCV system that routes pressure from the valve cover up to the intake manifold. During this process, contaminants such as oil and condensation are often allowed to enter the intake, and that's a problem. These contaminants can lead to carbon deposits, oil in the intake, dirty sensors, and all sorts of other problems. At the very least, you can be looking at less efficiency from your engine, reduced power, and poorer fuel economy. And this is where the Mishimoto catch can comes to the rescue. This baffled catch can will separate oil particles from the PCV air that would normally have just been routed back into your intake. It features custom grooves in the inlet that turbulates the air longer to ensure all the oil sinks to the bottom. That means nothing but clean air will pass through the 40 micron bronze filter and into your intake. This catch can is machined from 100% billet 6160 aluminum and accepts AN fittings in the inlet, outlet, and drain area, allowing for over 27 different possible configurations. For maximum fitment options, the top cog mounting setup allows the can to be mounted in multiple angles. This makes maintenance easy and the drain plug can be removed to allow an AN return line to the oil pan. That's enough about the part, let's get this thing installed. So I went ahead and threw some gloves and safety glasses on and got our battery disconnected. Now we're gonna go ahead and yank the engine cover off. So with our PCV hose removed, we went ahead and disconnected the windshield washer lines from this bracket here, and we're gonna loosen these two 16 millimeter bolts. We've got our two bolts loosened up. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw our catch can bracket on. So we have our bracket attached now, and now we're gonna go ahead and put our barbs in our catch can. And this thing's super nice. It's made out of 6160 billet aluminum. So they machine it, it's all you know, nice pretty finish. But just to show you guys how this works, you have your inlet here, and the inlet comes through and goes into the catch can and hits this baffle. What this baffle does is this makes the oil and the air separate, and the oil is gonna get caught in the bottom section. Then the clean air is gonna go outside this brass filter here and out the outlet. So now that you guys know how this works, let's go ahead and thread the fittings in and get this thing installed. So these have O-rings on them, so you don't have to worry about putting Teflon tape or anything on them, so that's always nice. So go ahead and we're just gonna snug these up, make sure they're tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this mounted and we're gonna yank these three Allen screws out of the top so we can mount it to the bracket. Now they do include an optional drain kit and to install that, you're just gonna go ahead and pull this plug out, put another barb in it, and then they have some hoses they included and hose clamps, and then you're gonna just put a quick disc, like a quick valve in it, so you can drain this thing easy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off on ours, because I prefer to go ahead and take the can and just open it up when I do oil changes and dump it out. You can do it either way, it doesn't matter, it's more of a preference. So, get our screws out and get it mounted. So with our can mounted in its location, we can go ahead and run our new hoses. With our catch can and our PCV hoses all installed, we can go ahead and throw our engine cover on and reconnect our battery. And that's all there is to it. A nice, simple, sweet, to the point upgrade that's gonna give our Jeep some great benefits. 
Now, I do recommend emptying this thing about every oil change. That's a good interval to go by. And other than that, it's maintenance free. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing and I'll see you guys later.